Mr. Beast is probably the most famous YouTuber on the planet. He's got over 149 million subscribers, and he is considered the most successful YouTuber out there. But recently, his right-hand man, Chris Tyson, came out as transgender. Now, most people are condemning Chris's behavior, but some people are accepting it and even promoting it. And that includes Mr. Beast himself. He is promoting this, and he said on Twitter that all of this transphobia is starting to really piss me off. Chris Tyson claims that he actually did this for his son. Check out this tweet. He said, I know I'm going to be a great parent, and so is every other person who puts the love of their child before everything. I made this decision because I wanted to show up as my best and happiest self for him. In a way, this was for Tucker. And he also went on to post a picture of his two-year-old son in high heels with a caption that said, Tucker chose to slay this morning. Now, this is just more proof that the transgender folks that can't figure out what gender they are, they're so delusional that they're not safe around kids. What could motivate this? What even, how does one go from this, having a beautiful family, and just throwing it all away for this. That's exactly what the description says. This is degeneracy. To take away the opportunity of your spouse, who thought that she married a man, and pump yourself full of estrogen, make yourself look sickly and disgusting, and then turn around and divorce her, and tell your child that you're being your happiest self, tell the world you're being your happiest self, all the while rejecting your actual self is so selfish that I can't even come up with words to describe how I personally feel about it. The only word that really comes to my mind is grotesque. It's reprehensible that you would do that to a woman. It's reprehensible that any man would say that he is a woman, dress like a woman, and insult the entire group of women that live in this planet. Do you mean they drew you so well? It looks just like you. Oh, yes. Oh my god, it's Whoa. Jimmy. How did fan art? This is what we were looking for. <laughs> be brave, be honest, be kind, Mr. Mr. Beast. That is my tagline. But of course he says that he's going to be his happiest self for his son. But he's going to castrate himself and no longer be a father figure. Something that every child needs. Look, every child needs a dad. They don't need two moms. They don't need two dads. They need a mom and a dad to create a balance in the home. Somebody tweeted and said that there's a father figure that the kid won't ever be able to look up to. And frankly, I could not agree with that more. You've stripped away your fatherhood to try to replace the child's mother. I mean, how selfish, how disgusting that you would do that to your own wife. See, this decision to become trans not only affects you, it affects your wife, it affects your child. How is the child going to feel every day when he has to wake up to two moms? It's disgusting the fact that they are involving children in this especially. If somebody in my family decided to castrate themselves, leave their spouse, become a second mother to the child that they have, and, you know, play this game of charades and pump themselves full of estrogen, I would immediately condemn it because that's what a true friend would do. I would immediately stand up and say, no, that's not a good idea, don't do that. But for Mr. Beast to get up and say, I support this, I condone this, this is normal. What kind of a friend are you if you're gonna say something like that? That's not friendship. That's what we call hate. And lies are built on hate. Truth is built on love. If you were honest with him, if you told him that he's not something that he claims to be, which is a woman, and if you'd be honest with him and tell him that he should not pump himself full of estrogen and mutilate his body, that would be the loving thing to do. But to sit back and just watch your friend destroy his existence and destroy his wife and child in the process, that's really sad. And his poor wife. She's not even afforded the dignity of her grief. Because if she says anything, she's gonna be accused of being transphobic. His son is wearing high heels, and he says, Tucker chose to slay this morning. I think just the 
There's just something really wrong about this, okay? There's something really wrong about this. Chris also, in response to the criticism that he received, sent out some pretty nasty tweets about the Bible. He said that the Bible is a fairy tale, it's a fake book, and that Christianity is blankety blank. But then he also went on to say something much more serious. He said, I did also hate seeing the hate for me turned into general transphobia, so I'm trying to make it known. Make fun of me all you want, but mess with the trans homies and, well, and it shows a picture of a gun, an emoji of a gun. This is just violent. And I think especially this is in bad taste after the shooting that just happened at that Christian school. Chris Tyson is a creeper. <laughs> Why do you think it is that he was strapping high heels onto his two-year-old son? It's because he's a predator, that's why. He's just a normal guy and changes himself into this. And this is being celebrated? This is sad. This tweet says, I still can't get over the fact that God has given this man everything 90% of other men would wish for. Money, a beautiful wife, and a healthy child. Yet he leaves it all and decides to delve into the sexual degeneracy pipeline. God has forsaken this man. He shall regret it all one day. What Chris Tyson is going through right now is a picture of something that some people do, in fact, go through. Many of which are so dark. Many people in this movement are so gross. And they've rejected the word of God so much. They've rejected reality so much. They've rejected the truth. They hear the word of God, reject it, reject it, reject it. And God finally says, my spirit will not always drive with man. That is why certain people become trans. It's not just because of a mental disorder. That can be part of it. But many times, I believe that it's from rejecting the Lord Jesus Christ. When you hear the message of the cross, when you hear the message of truth, when you hear what God's word said about there being only male and female, and you reject that message, God finally says, you know what? I'll give you over to a reprobate mind. I'll give you over to vile affections. That's what happened to Chris. That's what happens to many people because they hate the truth. This is why they nailed Jesus Christ to the cross. It was because they hated the truth so much. And Jesus was filled with love. Jesus never did any wrong. The Bible says that he went as a lamb to the slaughter. The Bible says that he had no sin. The Bible says that he was tempted at all points, like as we are, yet without sin. Jesus was perfect, lived a perfect life, but was crucified by people who hated the truth. Because he is the truth. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and that no man cometh unto the Father but by me. The only way to be saved is through Christ, and to reject that message when you hear it. When you hear it and you reject it, God's Spirit will get farther and farther from you. And before long, there will come a point where it's too late. This is why Jesus said that today is the day of salvation. Today. Don't wait till tomorrow. Don't say, well, I'll accept the truth in a week from now. Jesus said that today is the day of salvation. He says, I still can't get over the fact that God has given this man everything 90% of other men would wish for money a beautiful wife and a healthy child, yet he leaves it all, all of this behind and decides to delve into the sexual degeneracy pipeline. God has forsaken this man, he shall regret it all one day.